In chapter 7, we study flow near walls. Whenever we flow a fluid around any given arbitrary solid object, we find that at ordinary Reynolds numbers, the shear effects are concentrated in an area very close to the surface of the solid object. And we call this area the boundary layer. What we want to do in chapter 7 is to be able to quantify everything about the boundary layer. In particular, how the velocity inside the layer is distributed, how large the thickness of the boundary layer is, and how it grows with distance, and most importantly, how much shear is exerted by the fluid flow around the given arbitrary solid surface. The good news is chapter 7 is not a very difficult chapter because we've seen the method for working out fluid flow before. In the first part, we're going to pretend everything is nice and smooth, and we're going to quantify the velocity inside the boundary layer for laminar flow. In the second part, we turn to turbulent flow, where we're not able to solve all the fluid equations anymore, and so we need to use experimental data, which is time averaged, to be able to describe a time average thickness and velocity distribution inside the boundary layer. There's a single question you can work on as you prepare for chapter 7, and it's the following. Take any arbitrary object that you prefer with a certain length, take any arbitrary flow with incoming properties that you prefer, and try to quantify the thickness of the boundary layer. Watch out for the equation that's going to enable you to predict how thick the boundary layer is for any given properties of your choice. This is all. I wish you a happy preparation and I'll see you Thursday in the lecture hall for chapter 7 on the boundary layer.